I've been uptight lately. All of my friends are married, which is getting frustrating for me because I'm single. And like, at the very least, I need to just hurry up and have a kid because I'm like three, four years away from the gay rumors, you know? <laughs> you hit 32, waiting for you to get to 35, you gotta hurry up and do something. What sucks is being the single friend because now all of my married friends expect me to lie on their behalf, like all the lies flow through you. I'm not lying to your wife, man. That's the mother of your children. Even if you wanted me to lie, I, like they don't give me enough time to learn the lie. I got a buddy, Nikki, in the Bronx. He calls me five minutes before it's going down. Hey, man, she finna call you. Just say shrimp scampi. Click. What the? What does that mean? <laughs> this is not enough time. That's not even a complete sentence. There's no action verb in that. That's, what is the scampi doing? I just think technology's ruined dating, though. Like, if you're married now, it's gotta suck because everything that buzzes and beeps, that's just one more thing to argue about. If it's a cell phone or email passwords, God forbid your phone rings too late at night. Uh, who was that calling you this late? It's 11 o'clock. It's pretty late. Too late to be getting a call. <laughs> That's why grandparents are still together. That's why old people stay married because they met before stuff was invented. They didn't have to deal <laughs> with this crap. Like, everybody thinks it's true love. That's what you always say. Oh, my grandma, granddaddy been married 50 years. That's love. No, it's not. Your granddad didn't have a Facebook page with butt naked chicks on it, so he didn't have to deal with that crap. That's all it is. Even with the technology they did have, they couldn't argue. What did they do, watch the radio in the 20s? You can't argue about that. I'm pretty sure my grandma didn't go through my granddaddy's telegrams when he came home. <laughs> Standing on the front porch, mad. Who is this girl? Who is Eunice Herschel? Who is she? Why does she keep sending Western Unions to the house? It's the third one is mighty late. It's four in the afternoon. I just, I wish dating could go back to what it used to be like when there was no technology. I was watching a Civil War movie. These dudes were romantic. These dudes wrote letters. You realize how heartfelt that is? Like, these guys hand wrote letters. There was no pencil or pen. These dudes had a, a feather and a bucket of ink and they dipped and they wrote. No one's getting handwritten letters now. You're not getting a handwritten letter from somebody unless they're in prison. That's the only way you're worth somebody's time now. You know, but you watch these movies. These dudes were coming from the heart. It's dangerous out here, my love. The general has me in the boys station outside of Gettysburg right now. The men are tired, was scared. Not sure if we have enough rations to make it through the evening. <laughs> Morale is low. <laughs> Tim Timlin from Akron lost his leg in a cannonball explosion yesterday. And one of us has to tell his wife Janice what happened. She shan't be happy to hear that news. <laughs> Charlotte, my love, when a man is out here on the battlefield and danger is surrounding him, the only thing he can do is hold his rifle and hold it close. Thoughts of your love envelop my soul and they sustained me. Should I not make it back alive, tell the kids that I died a soldier. Sincerely, Terrence, Third Cavalry. And he, yeah, and he'd take that letter. Yeah. This is what happens. He takes that letter, he gives it to a dude on a donkey, eight months later, she gets it. And she's cool, like that's all you had to do to be a good dude was talk to your girl twice a year. That's it. Just write a letter. You can't do that now, not with technology. You let somebody text you and you don't reply in under 30 seconds. <laughs> where are you? I just sent you a text. You better reply to me. I know where you are. I got Google Map GPS. I'll find your ass. I'll kill you, bitch. I love you. Don't ever leave me. Wouldn't it be cool, fellas, if you could just write your girl a letter you go missing for half the year? No matter what you're doing, you just sit down Civil War style, scribble something out to her. It's, it's dangerous out here, my love. <laughs> Me and the boys are down here in Miami Beach outside of a strip club. <laughs> the men are tired, we're scared. Not sure if we have enough $1 bills to make a video. <laughs> Morale is low. Tim Timlin from Akron lost 10,000 on a lap dance last night. And one of us has to tell his wife Janice what happened. She shan't be happy to hear that news. Charlotte, my love, when a man's in the VIP of an adult entertainment facility and a woman's rubbing her naked body against him, the only thing you could do was hold her close. Thoughts of your love envelop my soul and nourish me. I hope that this isn't my last correspondence to you, but if it is, tell the kids that their father died having a threesome. Terrence. Thank you very much.